very much. Because the governorship candidate commences his campaign with a visit to Unsulu and Intiga communities in Isialagua North Council area, where he shares his plans to take the state to an enviable height if elected governor in the March 11 governorship election. Reacting to claims that he is desperate to become governor, Mr. Oti says he is rather desperate to rescue and develop Abia State economically and to curb years of maladministration by previous administrations. I'm desperate to pay the gas. I'm desperate to build hospitals in this place. I'm desperate to build a modern markets. I'm desperate for your children to go to this school. I'm desperate. The campaign train proceeds to Isialangua South Local Government Area and Abayimba Autonomous Community in the Gunagbo Local Government Area of the state, where it was decorated in traditional attire as a symbol of endorsement. <laughs> In their separate remarks, a member representing Isialangua North constituency, Mr. Jinja Onusibe, and Labour Party senatorial candidate, Mr. Chinedu Onyesu, said residents are ready to make a statement with their votes. He has the capacity to create wealth amongst Abians. He has the capacity to grow the economy of Abia State. So at some point, before eight years expires in his tenure, uh, we will now have, we will be as a loan-free state. Everybody we have resolved to change the leadership of Abia State. And uh, you can see the first place we went, our people searched out. You can also see the crowd here. Nobody was mobilized, it was only announcement. Uh, people have decided to say enough is enough. Mr. Alex Oti thereafter proceeds for a town hall meeting with pensioners, teachers, various representatives of town unions at the Rome Hotel Hall in Obingua local government area. From all indications, the Labour Party appears set to wrestle power from the ruling People's Democratic Party in the state, but this can only become reality if the voting population in Abia state backs the candidacy of Mr. Oti.